Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will make an oil painting of a fish. We begin by sketching the overall general shape. I am doing this with a small brush and blue paint, but not very much paint. The brush is nearly dry. I also sketched some coral at the bottom and now we begin to paint the background or the sea. For this I'm using a mixture of ultramarine blue and cobalt blue, while for sketching the fish I used cyan. Generally I use a darker mix for the corners and the edges and I will mix a lighter tone for the center part, using much less or non ultramarine blue and adding the cyan to the mix. The complete list of materials is in the description below the video, as always. When applying most of the paint, I'm doing the strokes in a similar direction to each other, like slanted, to create that texture or feeling like the sunlight is coming in that direction through the water. And to make this even more evident, I will add some white to the mix and apply it, like so. And we can also add some strokes of different tones. And let's start painting our fish, which will be a butterfly fish. It is mainly white, which in the shade looks grey, with yellow stripes. And these lines that I am painting are seriously not right. They are tilted. So I erase them with a rag and draw an axis line to repaint them perpendicular to it. That's better. And the lower side of the fish looks grey because it is in shade. And I will darken this grey even a little bit more, like so. This tone is better, I think. Some touches up here also, because that fin may be in shade. And then, let's give it some light with the white. Yes, all the upper part will be lighter. This whole painting is going to be fairly easy. If you don't have a lot of experience with oil painting, this may be a nice project to do. Let's refine the outside line a little bit better and blend it in. We can do this since the whole painting is wet. And let's add the eye. It's a black eye. A bit bigger. Like so. And now we add some further shading and tone to the whole body. But this time with a very small brush and small dabs to give the illusion of the texture of the scale. And with some titanium white, we can give some nice highlights. I have been using a flake white, which is not as intense, not as white. While the titanium white is ideal for the highlights. I made some dark lines by the yellow ones, and I will add one also by the tail, right here. And let's intensify some of the colors. I don't want a totally definite line in the border, so I smudge it a little bit. Very good! Excelente! I like it how it is looking so far. It also has a big black dot toward the top, right here. And I will test adding some yellow spots to the background. If I don't fully like them, I will take them off. And let's paint the coral reef with some reddish brown. That's on the shaded part. The rest, I leave it yellow. And I will take off the yellow spots after all. Kind of like them, but not thoroughly. Let's add some more blue to the area so that it doesn't look greenish. All right. And we should complete this tail, which is like a fan a bit. More like this. Smoother than what I had it. All right, very good. And now let's reestablish the fin. It is a little bit tricky because it is white but translucent. However, I let this painting rest for a day and so now it is practically dry, so I can go over it without it smearing. Okay, let's enhance those lights with the titanium white, we give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.